All right, hey guys, I am back for hole one of the tournament here, and I notice this is the Cliffs Par 4, or Cliffs Par 3, sorry. And uh, so one of the things that I would do, I would set up my bag before going. Um, I'm assuming this is a wood, but in the event that it's not, I'm going to also set up my long iron. So... I don't really need a lot of backspin on this shot either way, so I'm kind of going to just stick with a more accurate bag. And uh, you know, whatever ball I'm going to use, so today I might use a Marlin just to, re just to restrict the wind ever so slightly to increase the possibility of that hole in one. So that little bit of adjustment. But since I'm not qualifying today, and let's say this is an important round, like the weekend round, well, I'm going to pull out one of the, my turkey balls um, and get that little bit of extra, you know, 55% to, again, you know, same strategy, just uh, to give myself the best opportunity to make the shot. So keep that in mind. Um, and let's go ahead and dive into this hole here, see what it looks like on the rookie setup. I'm a little unfamiliar with uh, where we're going to be in terms of the tee box. Well, let's see if I can't put together something. Uh, one thing that I want to make a note of for this hole is you always want to overplay this wind. So here it says like 3.6. I might go say five rings for this and it's relatively close when you do that and it looks like you're seeing here with uh, the Kingsmaker ball pretty terrible ball because you see it's adding that power and it's putting this guy in between clubs so you probably want to stay away from that uh, you don't want to be in that uh, that tricky range and uh, I like to rotate the screen to play the wind. And as you see, that guy didn't really do that here. He underplayed the wind too. That's another thing to keep in mind is uh, the wind's just a little bit stronger on this hole all the time. So if snipers usually, you know, I'm a little mid club here, but uh, I still play it towards max club. And like I said, so for a 4.5 wind here, maybe I'll go six rings. And what I like to do with my backspin is I like to set it right around four balls because it comes in the speed that I like. And aside from that, I put the second hop right on the green. Now, when I'm adjusting here, I rotate ever so slightly and then just pull straight down five rings six rings a little over six rings here that I'm gonna go and let's see what this looks like of course of course I got a great ball it's geez so you're probably gonna see me uh, and of course it caught the caught the collars or well so that was just the ultimate punishment pretty much took myself out of the hole but as you can see my aim was relatively good um, I was coming in a y between a yard and two to the left of the hole and I did great ball uh, pull it to the left so on a perfect ball that was going to come more in towards the hole and it gives you kind of two chances to make it with the speed that I played now it's not supposed to hit that collar it was supposed to land over it so I was ever so slightly uh, pulling in the wrong direction there to make sure that that was on the green so I just want to note that for you guys um, but don't forget to overplay that wind so like I mentioned before I think that was 4.6 miles per hour and I was going you could see the way that I was pulling making my adjustment I was doing them very slowly so you could kind of pick up on what was happening and I went roughly six rings there um, but it was a little bit more than six rings. So I went like six and a half, for example. So maybe, you know, six might be the perfect adjustment. It's pretty close to six. And uh, hit perfect ball. And if you hit perfect ball on that, you give yourself a really good chance to make it. Now, let's talk about had I had, for, for instance, 
uh, a turkey ball on or a Santa ball on. Now, I, I'm not going to do that in these basic rounds, this first opening round, because it's not really a scoring round for me. Uh, I might do it in the second round. It, it's just kind of how I feel. But uh, it would restrict that wind down to, say, under 3 miles per hour. So if the wind is 2.7, you're going less rings, you know, and less rings means more precision, which means it gives you that chance to get that hole in one a lot at a, at a lot higher rate. So again, for this hole, I want to make kind of that same note that I just mentioned. So you need to play about 20% more wind here. So instead of going um, three rings, which is what usually sniper is, I'm going to go four. It's just the way that you do this hole. And aside from that, I'm going to play it with some hook. And of course, this time, of course, I get the perfect ball. <clears throat> and there you see it coming in right at the hole. And that is very similar to how I'm going to play it for the tournament as well. So uh, I'll let you know when I get to that. And uh, be on the lookout for my next hole as uh, I'm going to put out every single hole here for you guys. And uh, good luck with uh, getting that hole in one on that one.